Welcome to Retro Crisis, and I'm back again on my Linux adventure. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play Nintendo Switch games on Arch Linux. It's entirely possible that this guide will work for other distributions of Linux too, but in this video, I'll be using Arch Linux. If you'd like to learn how to install Arch Linux, there's a link to a guide in the description below. So the first thing to do is plug your USB control pad into your computer or connect your Bluetooth control pad to your computer and then go down to settings and then go to game controller. And here you can test all the buttons on your game controller. So just by pressing random buttons and moving your analog stick around, you'll see the values on the screen change. If you're not seeing any movement here, just make sure you go to device and make sure you have your control pad selected. And then once you're happy with that, just click on the close button. Now there are a few files that you need to make sure that you have ready before we even begin the process. Right, so you're going to need firmware, which looks a little like this. So it's a whole bunch of .nca files, I think. You're going to need prod keys, which look like this, so prod.keys and title.keys, and you're going to need a game file, ideally in the XCI file format. Now I just need to make clear, I can legally not provide these files to you. You're going to either have to dump them yourselves from your own console, or you will have to just find them from the internet somewhere. If you go to google.com, I'm pretty certain that the results will be on the first page. So that's a little side quest you'll have to go on yourself. You can use the NSP file format for games, but I prefer using XCI. And once you have all these files, save them in a folder together so they're all kept nice and tidy. And we can close this folder. Now we want to download the Nintendo Switch emulator and for this guide we'll be using Ryujinx. And I'll tell you what, on Arch Linux it is incredibly easy to download Ryujinx and keep it up to date. All you need to do is go down here to the Discover Software Center and then open it and then on the left hand side click on Games and then go to Emulators and then if you just search this list you'll see Ryujinx appear somewhere. And there it is, it must have been updated recently. So you could either find Ryu Jinx like that, or you could just go into the search box at the top and type in Ryu Jinx. But either way, if you just open Ryu Jinx here, just make sure it's the correct one. And then in the top right corner, click on install from FlatHub and then just wait for it to download. And then once it's downloaded, we can close the Discover Software Center and then go down to your app launcher or start menu equivalent in the bottom left, click it. You'll notice Ryu Jinx has automatically been categorized into the games folder. And there we go, Ryu Jinx Nintendo Switch emulator. And then just click it to open. And you'll receive this notification that says keys not found. And that is not a problem. We're going to solve that right now. So just press okay. Now what I'm going to do is just move Ryu Jinx to the side here. And then what you need to do is open up the folder where you kept all of your Nintendo Switch download files. Right, so I'm just going to open that down there on the bottom corner, and then back in Ryu Jinx, go to File, and go to Open Ryu Jinx Folder. And we can just move that up in the top corner here. Now, in the Ryu Jinx Folder, go to System, and if we go back to our files that we downloaded, go to Prod Keys, we need to copy and paste prod.keys and title.keys. So what you can do is just right click on them, go to copy and then go to your system folder within Ryu Jinx, right click and paste two items. And there we go. Now you should be able to just close the system folder and you can close the folder with all your Switch downloads. Now in theory, if we close Ryu Jinx and open it up again, you shouldn't receive that keys error message again. This is just a little test to show whether it's been installed correctly or not. There we go. Now let's click on this little arrow here to make this window full screen. Now the next thing we want to do is install the firmware. And you can do that by clicking on tools and go to install firmware and then install a firmware from a directory. And what you need to do is go to the folder where your downloads were kept and then select the firmware folder and then click on OK. And if you give it a second, you'll get this message, install firmware and then the version number of your firmware. Do you want to continue? Yes. And then it should say successfully installed, which is fantastic. And then go to OK. Now let's go to options. Let's go to settings. So firstly, where it says game directories, click on add and then navigate to the location where you've stored all of your Nintendo Switch games. So I made a folder called XCI and that's where I've stored my Switch games. And then press OK. Great. So now all you need to do in future is just keep putting the games into that folder and then Ryu Jinx will automatically pick those up. And then what you can do if you press OK, you'll notice that your games begin appearing. 
so I have Super Mario Wonder here. Now, as you can tell, currently this game is at version 1, but as you know, games are occasionally updated, and if you do have an update file for a game, it's very easy to update your game. So all you need to do is right click on the game, go to manage title updates, and then click on add, and then select the update file from whichever folder you've kept it in. And then go to open, and then it'll say version 1.1 or whichever version you're updating to, and then click on save. And there you can see the update is now reflecting. Lovely, so let's configure a few more settings. Go back to options, go to settings, go to input, and here you can configure your controller. So currently the input device is set to keyboard, but if we click that, we can select your hardware controller that you're using. And then if you go over here to controller type, you can select which kind of Nintendo Switch controller you want to emulate. So I'll be selecting Pro Controller, because I just think that's the best. And then hopefully all the buttons should automatically map. But if any of the buttons don't map, what you can do is is just click on one of these and then you can select whichever button on your controller you'd like to change it to. And then once you've changed whatever you want to change, just click on apply and that should save your settings. Now let's go to system. Here you can select which region you're in and which language you want to use and time zone and whatnot. So I'll just select Europe, change this to London and then click apply. Personally, I like to leave VSync on, but it's up to you how you wanna do it. And then we go to CPU, and I'm not going to change anything there. Then we go to graphics, and this is pretty important. So where it says graphics backend, I generally select Vulkan for anything and everything where possible, but feel free to uh, change it to OpenGL if you're having difficulty with Vulkan. And then where it says preferred GPU, if you just click that. Now the laptop I'm using is pretty old and it's not particularly powerful and it only has kind of onboard integrated Intel graphics so that's kind of what I'm stuck with at the moment but if you have something more powerful like maybe an AMD Radeon or an Nvidia RTX card or even a GTX feel free to select that or select whichever is the more powerful GPU that you have access to and where it says resolution scale again because I've got a slightly weaker laptop here I'm just going to be using the native resolution but if you have a monster of a PC feel free to maybe change it to 4k or above if you want to press apply again and then go to audio and the audio backend is currently SDL2 and I'm probably just going to leave it at that and network uh, I'm going to leave that disabled but feel free to have a play and then once you're done press OK right so now we can load up a game to load a game all you need to do is double click the game of your choice and then just wait for it to do its business excellent and the game should eventually begin loading if you want to switch between the docked resolution and the handheld resolution all you need to do is go to the bottom here and where it says docked so just tap that once and it should switch to the handheld resolution so that'll be 720p in my case and if you want to switch between full screen and windowed on your keyboard just press f11 there we go we got full screen press f11 again and it takes you back to tiny mode so in this case it's taking me back to 720p which is totally fine and that is in a nutshell shell how you use Nintendo Switch games on Arch Linux. I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.